Thank you for staying with us. BK, um, GKB, yes. before we went on break. Yes, I was trying to give the background to what really happened. So, uh, Mr. Basson just came in with the governor. I think they were coming from somewhere, and then the Obas is not stand up. Of course, there are some Obas in Oyo states that the matter of courtesy do not stand up. The Alaf is one of them. The Ulubano is another. I think the Shawun and the Asen, I think five of them. I don't know about less first of class. Us. First class of us. Mm, laughing, that are, of Bumosho. Even I know that even the later laughing as a chancellor of the university will come in last. Whoever you are, I don't care. You are governor, you are not governor. As long as he was the chancellor of the school, he will make sure he came in last to ensure that. But two problems arose here. The way Mr. Basel treated the others are very bad. But it's not a reflection on the others. It's a reflection on his own upbringing. Because one thing about correcting people is that you look at the environment and the situation. If you feel they've broken, uh, they've breached protocol, there are ways to say this. It's not your protocol. It's the protocol of Mr. Shehimakinde. Mr. Shehimakinde is the one that holds the authority. They are not standing up for you, Mr. Basoji, as a person. They did not stand up for Mr. Shehimakinde as a governor. So that is where the lacuna is. I agree that it depends on the protocol in my state as of today. Because I'm not only the Osiris Makakafa, I'm also the Otua Kongo of Ibadaland. So I, I do know that there are things that don't happen in public, that people do in private. So the others were wrong for not obeying protocol. But Mr. Basanjo was not the person to dress them down. It was not his place. Because he was not the one being disrespected. The power being disrespected is that of the governor. And this came about solely because the Nigerian elites took over power from the colonialists. And they retained the structures that colonialists used to oppress our people. So that 60 down the, the line, a local government chairman still has more power than an oba in his domain. In fact, a local government chairman can dismiss a first class oba with impunity. Just like we now have in states where uh, commissioners for chief council affairs can also query kings on behalf of the governor for going out. So what really happened, like I said, is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Mr. Basson just heard by simply assuming things that were not in his purview. The others heard by not obeying the protocol set down by the people working in the government house. I'm sure the, gov the governor was not really bothered. Because I'm sure things like this, because if you know Mr. Makinde is a very easygoing person. It's not really for protocol. In fact, it took us almost a year to force him to stay wearing this cap. In the first six months of his reign, he was working bearded. And I said, you are the governor of your state. You can't be going around like this. So it's not really that stickler. But, but Mr. Bajor took it upon himself in his own, uh, the word I can't use the words on television, in his own manner of expressing himself that he's better than everybody, and it was his duty as a former head of state to talk down on our bus. Of course, there will be consequences. Do you think was was looking at the time that he was military president, military head of state, and um, his stature as a general, and even his um, age, that perhaps is older than all these people, and yeah. has supervised over many of us? Many of the others here are not even as old as his first son. Mm. Many of them. Orne, Orne, the current Orne is not as old as Obasanjo's first son. Yeah. But Obasanjo will prostrate for him. I've seen him prostrate for uh, the Olu of Wari. Abiko. Yes. So. He prostrate for his own best. king now, the Olu of Owu. Yes. He's an Owu chief best. now. He, he's the one who. Um, he's the one who tries to show that this is our culture. The only thing I quarrel with, you know, is telling them to get up and then sitting down. But I do not quarrel with him telling them that what they did is wrong. I've seen emirs stand up when a governor comes into an arena. I've also seen a sultan appear to disrespect a head of state. 
a military ruler, and there were conse consequences for that. Mm. When Abacha was reading a speech at a military event, and you came in with your kakaki, fa 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 fa, you merely looked at the military oh. administrator of Kaduna State, and he knew what he had to do. To full. A query came, and that was the beginning of the removal. Joba was of that, yes. And it was, and it was Sultan no, no more. Mm. Yes. Because look, whether we like it or not, That's the, the, the chairman of the local government is the boss. the boss. But it doesn't mean that you will wake up as a local government chairman and say you sack anemia. Mm. You sack a first class. You've not got the power. Mm. <laughs> as long power. as it's even the governor that confers that first class ship on you. Who is that local government chairman who will simply sack you? No. They can't do that. They can't. It's the job or it's the governor can do that. And even for governors, it's a reality to sack a king. It is only when a king appears to have provoked the governor to that point, and we've seen, or there is disrespect for the position of the governor. You saw what happened with uh, Jokolo. Jokolo in uh, the area of Gwandu. Uh, the the, the governor felt that was he didn't respect him. A civilian president, he sacked the governor with a military background. It's not, you can be a former general. A civilian, a civilian governor can sack you because you are a public servant. I believe that Obasanjo was right in saying, look, you should have honored this man when he came in. I believe he was right. What I oppose was that manner of just saying, hey, did they? and then the, the, the alacrity with which they got up, you General, know, you mean. That, that fear, they, they are, maybe they were afraid that something could happen. Because the way they sprang to their feet, well, you will see that they were really rattled. But it could have corrected them with love, without necessarily diminishing and humiliating them in the way that it did. I'm not an Obasanjo fan. Everybody knows that. But on this, I believe that. Ah, you see, when some of these governor, when, when a traditional ruler beat up a, another traditional ruler the other day, he knew he should have been gone. A governor had to save his job. So are we going to say because you are a traditional ruler, you are a first class king, you have the right to beat up uh, fellow kings? No, they will serve you breakfast when you do that. Mm. So this is the thing. Obasan George shouldn't We accept the apology of uh, uh, Mama Obasan George. But next time, even when you want to correct our kings, but the, the, and then people will also ask the question, the, kind, the kings that he did that to, did we have Awujale in attendance? Did we have Analafi in attendance? Maybe the category, the caliber of kings also influenced mm. the way he spoke. Abiyayo. Mm. Because even the upper of Lagos, mm. a, a, a man very, very unpredictable uh, in his ways, are you going to just simply talk to him like that? I know now. No. So maybe he just felt, ah, these ones, they've not reached the level of Analafi now. They've not reached the level of uh, oh, Ne now. And they are doing this. So he just decided that, look, let me. Well, the, the danger this creates now is that all bars will now try to be militants. Uh, most of them will bear the bronze. Militants? Like, as uh, like uh, trying to assert parts they don't have. And let them as far as they don't have now. Which to me is the, what the is, outcome that's, is predictable. That's why I said it's better to have uh -huh. chastise them in, in private, okay. cover their dignity, instead of doing it in public and creating monsters that we know we don't know what will happen. Yeah, we uh, said, what do we happen? We have to do that. <laughs> they they are under authority. Traditional rulers are under authority. Commissioner for local government. Actually. Look at traditional rulers who were turbaning <laughs> bandits the other day. <laughs> When they served right. their breakfast, were we not happy? It was, it was both. Okay, GKB. Uh, oh, sorry. I want to thank uh, you for your contribution. And, uh, Mr. Show, you're welcome back. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight. At